All right, guys. Well, welcome to another episode of From the Poker Vault. It's your boy, Chef Ivan Durham. So, uh, as you saw, you know, we went to Vegas, had a good time. And, uh, you know, we actually, the Rio messed up our, our whole schedule so much that we didn't get a chance to really do everything we wanted to do. So, uh, you know, me and the missus, we're going to kind of table that. We're going to go back to Vegas and, you know, kind of tie the loose ends that we didn't get to do. And there's a few things she wanted to do. And we didn't get to go to Carbone. So, we're going to go back, but... I came back with an itch. I never got to play a lick of poker. So I, I talked to the missus. I said, look, you know, I want to go back to Vegas. The homie think blue poker's going. You know, he's going to be there. So I said, I have a little bit of money that I stashed to play poker with. Never got to play. So I got like a hundred bucks burning a hole in my pocket, if you will. So I thought, why not do a bankroll challenge? Because, you know, me and the missus, you know, we, we, we split all, all of our expenses. But the poker bankroll is my money. I don't ask her for money. It's my thing. It's... It's, I think it's an old Greg Raymer thing. I think I remember him saying that his, like his wife gave him like a thousand dollar bankroll, and then like if he lost it, it was that was it. And then if uh, if it you know dipped, he would sell his little fossils and kind of supplement his his bankroll. So I'm not selling fossils, but you know I decided to do a bankroll challenge. So uh, the homie Think Blue uh, Poker picked me up, and then we decided to go try our first run. So to give you an idea, I'm gonna take a hundred to 150 bucks, which is about what I have to kind of gamble with. And the idea is to run it up Saturday and Sunday so that I have enough money to go with them on Monday and just vlog and play some cool shit and, you know, just kind of hang out and really get to focus on the game. Now, obviously, the old lady's going to stay behind, you know, because she's pretty tired from the last trip and she wants to take care of the cats and whatnot, which is great because I get to focus on the game. So I'm really excited about that. But now we've got to run it up, right? So I think we're going to go with uh, the homie Thick Blue Poker. Uh, he's going to pick us up. We're going to go hit the Hawaiian Gardens Casino. He told me there's a 40-80 game. Meaning four to forty bucks minimum buy-in, eighty bucks maximum. It's probably going to be a super shallow fish fest, but I love short stack. I'm pretty comfortable playing with those kind of stakes. And also, when I used to play back home, uh, and it was a lot of bar league and a lot of uh, you know just homies from the restaurant that whenever they would want to play private games or cash games just for fun, uh, those are about the stakes we would play. Kind of like a forty eighty, like no real cap, but I mean that's about kind of what you know I kind of cut my teeth, so I'm pretty comfortable. So. Hopefully uh, it goes well, and again, you know, if, if we dust off the 150, you know, we lick our wounds, no harm, no foul. We always play with money we can afford to lose. As me and my girl like to say, and this is something she kind of taught me, you're paying for your entertainment. The same way we might pay 150 bucks for tickets to go see, you know, a headlining comedian that we love. You know, 150 bucks for both of us, not a piece, you know. But, uh, I mean, I would pay 150 bucks a ticket to see, like, you know, somebody that I like. But anyway, you know, the same way we spend money on entertainment, to me, that's kind of the thing. So I don't really, you don't see me grinding every day. I don't go out there, you know, four or five times a week. Like, I probably could. But, uh, you know, I just, you know, I was watching this great documentary they just released um, that Saw for Why does called To Be Determined. And one of the main characters, Oscar, who's the main guy, you know, he's grinding, man. But he's there, like, and, it, you know, he talks about, like, working, like, he puts in like 20, 30 hours a week and he'll just barely eke out a small win or be like either a small loser or go bust. And that's just a life I could never stomach. So like now that I can afford to kind of just dick around and go splash, like I like to do that. But um, I've also, you know, played a lot and I like to win. So I'm not going to go and just dunk it up. You know, I'm going to go and play my best and pick my spots. So, uh, so yeah, so uh, let's, let's see how it goes and uh, we'll go from there. Big blue poker in the house. Ironically, we had to come here in front of Laugh Factory because you know, comedy store all day, baby. It's just, it's a friendly rivalry, but Jesus Trejo came out of here. Guy Bailey Iglesias came out of here. A lot of the best Chicano comics ever have come out of Laugh Factory. So you know your boy's gonna be headlining one day, but we gotta, we gotta put the work in first. So today's gonna be about poker. Let's go check out the homie Think Blue Poker doing his vlog. We got some food trucks. It's a beautiful day in Long Beach, y'all. Let's go make some money. So, actually, I was incorrecto. Uh, so, we're actually going to Holly, uh, what? Hawaiian Gardens Casino. I don't know. Yo, back in North Carolina, we have one casino. It's like the Harris Cherokee. It's like five hours away. Yeah, I've never even been there. But here in LA, they have a casino every five feet. So, there you go. So, we're going to Hawaiian Gardens and uh, still, gonna run it up. I'm gonna set small targets. I'm probably gonna do like a three bet linear range. Uh, no, I'm probably not gonna bluff at all. I might pick some bluff spots, but it's only gonna be against opponents that 
just are older opponents. You know the ABC guys where they just check, check, check when they don't have it and they bet small when they do have it. Super easy to read. So we'll be three betting in position a bunch. Uh, gonna be kind of, hopefully I'm not gonna be at the same table as this guy because I don't want to have to take his money. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm just playing. Uh, but yeah, so let's go, let's do it. Volcano, do you know? He kept seeing it erupt when you're going to Run, eat up. Any advice for your boy? Don't fuck up. <laughs> Don't. You play your top of your range, you're playing that one, two. You're yeah. going in for uh, 30 big, so good luck, bro. Yeah, so the game I'm playing, it's kind of weird. It's, uh, it's a 40 80. So meaning the minimum buy-in is 40, but the maximum buy-in is only 80. And it's a $1, $2. So you're not, you don't have that many big blinds to begin with. You really, I'm not. That's I don't, LA I, poker for you, short yeah. stacked as hell. Dude, short stacked and degenerate. I don't ever live, really ever, ever, ever. So, uh, I mean, I'll do if it's a tournament and we're three-handed and I have aces on the button and the blinds have been abused by me all tournament. I'll limp with aces there because they will jam on me weak, but that's pretty much the only time I really limp, uh, to be honest. And I'm also a cash game fish. I'm a tournament guy, so this is going to be fun. But again, we're trying to run it up. We're trying to run it up for the misses and take her back to Vegas and do it right. And, and come uh, out with your boy, I think. Blue and poker. I came out with the right with the right guy because he's actually also showing me uh, what's the proper buy-in. So I have you know a certain bankroll, and he's showing me how I'm going to apply my bullets. So uh, let's see. Let's go do it. Let's go run it up. I got to get my mask. Can't take. What up? Did you get a table yet? I guess oh, not. Put you on here? Yeah, I put my lips up on there. Right. I'm next, I think. Mm -hmm. Next, we gotta wait for a table, but that's the next part of it. Mm -hmm. We just got called up. Let's do it. This is when I pile my favorite hand. 8 6 offsuit. That's my favorite hand. All right, so we had to wait for a little while. We finally got a table. We're sitting at a pretty juicy table. It's a lot of action, and it'd be, you're, you'd be amazed how many like awful hands are winning huge pots. So um, I've only played like one orbit. I found one hand that I I misplayed because in hindsight I should have. I'll, I'll explain the hand later on. But anyway, it's a good table. It's getting a little bit of water right now. But yeah, we're gonna grind it. So let's hope it goes. And we're listening to J Cole's off season, perfect music, and uh, yeah, let's do it. All right, we're taking a little smoke break. Uh, just give you an update on how it goes. So it took a while to get a table. We finally found a table. I put my name on the limit hold'em 4-8 because there was a huge list for the other games. So I finally got a 4-80 uh, 1-2 table. Uh, I didn't really play many hands at first orbit. The table was splashy as fuck. Like I saw like huge pots with like motherfuckers taking it down with like third pair, just ramming and jamming. So that was cool. But I, have, I didn't find a hand. Then finally we found a hand at the ace jack offsuit on the button. The like jammiest player on my right. He's been raising every hand. He pops it, pre-flop to eight. I flat with the ace check on the button to eight. Uh, I think the big blind calls. The flop comes ace, queen, brick with two diamonds. Uh, the dude that called, like a skinny white dude that just came to the table, he leads out for three. So I'm like, he's got an ace, but he didn't raise pre-flop. He didn't re-raise, he did three bet out of the big blind with the ace. So his ace is either worse than my ace jack, or if it's better, then he's trapping me, and then we'll figure it out, right? So he leads, but then Rammy Jammy guy, he makes it nine. No, the dude leads for three, this guy makes it nine. So my thing is, if this guy's making it nine, I've seen him raise the flop with an ace on it and have second pair and absolutely trash the other time. So he makes it nine, that doesn't mean shit to me, but I'm using his leverage to squeeze out this guy, the original guy. Cause now he's gonna throw away, he might throw away, he's, he probably doesn't have ace king. If he has ace queen, he's never folding, but I'll know if he fucking calls my raise, right? So if this guy makes it nine, I re-raise, I call his nine, I make it 25 more. The first guy folds, which is great. This guy insta jams on me. I fucking snap with the ace jack. I table my ace jack. It's ace queen brick, two diamonds. He just knuckles it like you're good. And then on the turn, he's like, you win. He just mucks it. So he was stone dead. I don't know what the fuck he jammed on me with, but there we go. It's the only hand we won, but we doubled up. So we just came out to smoke. Uh, we're gonna play, see how the table goes. We got, after that hand, like, three people left and we got three new players. Of those three new players, one little skinny kid with a champion hoodie, literally hit and run. He, he, he hit a hand where like, he called Remy Jammy's guys, uh, he called his raise with the ace deuce and the kid, literally first hand the kid sits at the table. And uh, the flop comes ace high, Remy Jammy guy bets, this kid fucking flats, the turn's a deuce, Remy fucking bets again. The kid just slides his whole fucking chip tray in, 
homie snaps and the kid has ace deuce of diamonds so he hit the flop on the hit the ace on the flop and, and he hit his fucking side card on the turn with the deuce and Rami had some shit ace and he got stacked but then the kid fucking insta leaves and dips to a higher table so he got hit and run so that pissed the whole table off so then like three other fucking players left so now the table's kind of new again so i'm gonna go back in there probably give it like 10 orbits and then see what think blue poker's doing and then we'll check in with all my fuckers later all right bye All right, we booked a small win. Went pretty good, I'll tell you guys about it later, but we're gonna go to the cage and get some money, but we're getting closer to Vegas.